गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज कुशाग्र कुमार फ्रॉम ग्रेड नाइन्थ एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग यू टू एक्सप्लेन द एक्टिविटी ऑफ अनियन बल्ब फ्रॉम ग्रेड नाइन बायोलॉजी सो फॉर दिस माई एम इज टू प्रूव दैट मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू इन विच वन ऑफ द टाइप इज अपल मेरिस्टम इज प्रेजेंट एट द रूट टिप एंड द शूट टिप ड्यू टू विच देर इज द ग्रोथ ऑफ रूट्स एंड स्टेम्स सो फॉर दिस द ऑब्जेक्ट और द मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड आर टू अनियन बल्ब टू ट्रांसपेरेंट ग्लास blurs and water so let's begin with the procedure so for this i have taken two onion bulbs and only their roots are deep or kept in water so as you can see i have taken the onion bulbs whose roots are very very small so that we can finally check that whether apical meristem is present due to which there is the growth or not as you can see this is the observation for day 1 so now this is the observation for day 2 as you can see the roots have started emerging and they are slowly slowly growing and they are slowly slowly emerging this was the observation for day 2 let's move on to day 3 for more observation so this is the observation on day 3 as you can see the roots have now started growing rapidly and there are some white roots also emerging from both of the beaker and as you can see their height is more as compared to the first two days this was the observation on day 3 so now let's check the observation on day 4 this is the observation on day 4 as you can see the roots have now started growing much rapidly and they are covering half of the beaker almost half of the beaker so this was the observation for day 4 let's move on to day 5 so as you can see this is the observation for day 5 as you can see now the roots have almost covered half of the beaker and they are growing rapidly so this was the observation for day 5 so as you can see now this is the observation of day 6 and on on this day i have cut the roots of that beaker b to show that onion have apical meristem as you can see here the beaker a whose root tips were not cut is showing a rapid growth whereas the beaker b whose root tips are cut is not showing now growth that shows that apical meristem is present at the root tip this was observation for day 6 so this is the observation on day 7 as you can see the roots in beaker a are growing rapidly we can say much rapidly whereas the roots in beaker b are not growing because the root tips have been cut so you can compare the differences of the length or size of the roots in both the cases so this was the observation on day 7 so now this is the observation for day 8 as you can see in beaker a the roots have covered more than the half of the beaker whereas in beaker b the roots are not growing as we have cut the uh, root tip of that beaker b so this was observation for day 8 So now this is day nine, and as you can see, the in beaker a, the roots are emerging very fastly and are now touching in the bottom and are trying to touch the bottom of the glass tumbler. Whereas in beaker b, there is no growth as the root tips were cut. So this was the observation on day nine. So now this is day ten, and as you can see, the in beaker a, the roots have covered more than half, almost the whole glass tumbler. whereas in beaker b there is no growth as the root tips were cut this is showing that uh, root tips contains apical meristem due to which it grows so now this is the observation on day 11 now the roots in beaker a are trying to touch the bottom of the glass tumbler whereas in beaker b no roots are emerging whereas in beaker a many white roots have also emerged and it is looking very beautiful so now this is the observation on day 12 so now they have almost reached the bottom of the glass tumbler in beaker a and the roots are growing enormously whereas in beaker b they are not growing at all as the root tips were cut so now on day 13 i have taken out the onion bulbs from both the beakers and i have shown you so see how much they have grown in beaker a whereas this is day 13 of beaker b in which the onion bulb was kept and there is no growth because the root tips were cut so now let's move on to the day 14 which is the last day of our activity and as you can see they have almost touched the 
bottom of the glass tumbler in the case of beaker a whereas beaker b is showing no growth and i have taken out once again the onion bulb from beaker a and see how much they have grown and compare it to the starting whereas in beaker b there was no growth so as you can see this is the beaker a's onion bulb which have grown enormously in size whereas there was no growth in beaker b's onion bulb because the root tip was cut so the conclusion is apical meristem is present at the root tip and the shoot tip due to which there is the growth of roots and the stem and i hope that you understood that due to the meristematic tissue which keep dividing in that one type is apical meristem which is responsible for the increase in the size or the length of the plant as in beaker a whose root tips were not cut so you can see the growth whereas in beaker b root tips were cut so there was no growth same is in the case of shoot tip if the shoot tip is there it will show growth whereas if shoot tip is not there it will not show growth because shoot tip contains apical meristem whereas uh, without it it does not contain apical meristem thank you hope you liked it